Next, Krishan City's out. She's just walking around. Let her go back to her room. Then you see Ryzen like, get your liquor back. <laughs> yeah, why do I play so much? Get your liquor back. Uh huh, bitch, try again. Still look cute from afar. Oh fuck, I'm sorry. Sorry guys, I'm such a slut. What's going on, Saint Gang? This is me back in the motherfucking video, bitch. All right, I know I'm a little late. All right, y'all know at least one of the two or three or four or five of the rest of these bitches might be late. But y'all know, bitch, we in this bitch still. Baddies motherfucking West three. I'm about to cut this off and then do the um South um Central Baddies two. So please don't fret. Okay. When you get close up, baby, you can see. All right, so a little update before we get into this motherfucking video. Um, why this video is late? Because you know I gotta explain myself because I don't want y'all to whip my ass. Big gloss, you know, if y'all know Glorilla's best friend is coming to Chicago, and I'm currently in a competition to open up for her. So, like I say, I open up for Kashan. Now my next step is open up for bitch. Some gloss, mm -hmm. this pussy cost. Mm -hmm. Some gloss, mm -hmm. this pussy cost. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's what I've been working on, trying to get my outfits together. I'm literally going to get my look today, um, for my own um, competition because I don't take no L's. Like bitch, I don't give a fuck if I won last time, bitch, I'm gonna win again. I'm gonna win again and again and again. So all these straight niggas know, bitch, I'm Princess Diana. When I come in the trap, sit the fuck up straight. Okay, I don't want to hear no extra ones and no twos. When I come in the trap, y'all should already know. That's the queen, you know, pass me my back wood and shut the fuck up. Period. So if y'all not following me on Instagram, I need y'all to go right down to my Instagram and just make sure y'all um, keep me up to date with all my performances and just, you know, me getting booked different places. I'm booked in Boys Town like a motherfucker. I'm booked for um Black History Month. Y'all know I'm a rapper, so like I'm just gonna incorporate my rap into just me having like a badass body. I mean, I wish I could put it up on here, but you know. Oh, y'all see me clapping, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just I just been working a lot trying to get my shit um in order like my schedule and things of that sort so please don't fret baby I'm will never leave you too I'm gonna always have some shit to say so just because I'm a little late know that I'm on my way so we gonna talk to another fucking episode rub on the fucking view um with my girl oh bitch that's grinder not grinder uh, so we started off the episode with my girl low I'm not up and beat the fuck up then you know Krishan tell the girls like you know y'all on my time this is my show please don't forget like don't ever think that like just because you're a new girl on the show that you think you can tell, tell me when I need to be ready for some shit that I already been on and that was sickening I'm sorry I live for that like how she ate that up I, I'm sorry she ate that up then son is saying um you know all these girls talking because you know Rolly and um Biggie like you know they're like two big ass voters sitting outside her room trying to get her and she just said she gets tired of the talking because like she have been yelling with them for a long time so she just sitting down to cool off or whatever. And Krishan comes back into the other room after she followed Lowe and Lowe tries to run up on her. As you know, Lowe, you know, she didn't do it. I mean, y'all know when she ran up on Jada, she was a little faster. I don't know if she's older or like, you know, she ain't just ain't been active, but y'all know when she ran up on Jada, girl, she she was full speed. When she ran on um, Krishan, it was like a little slow motion type of situation going on. I mean, I don't know if it's like, you know, she deteriorated because, you know, she's a little older. She ain't the girl she used to be, but I, I was looking for that iconic low run up and I didn't get that. It gave me very like senior citizen. Krishan, um, go in the other room. She tell like, low, like, girl, back the fuck up, girl. I'm trying to take my chains off, girl. Like, back the fuck up, girl. I'm trying to get ready for you. And low runs up anyway. All you hear is, yo, for who? <laughs> you hear, who? Uh, you know, when you hit one of those, that mean a bitch got their wing and knocked out their body. And when a bitch knocked the wing out your body, that doesn't mean you automatically lost the fight. Because, like, I've won a lot of fights. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm a snake ass bitch. But if you hit a bitch right here, like, fuck swinging at a bitch's face. Like, if a bitch big as fuck and her, like, chest is at your shit, punch that bitch right in the middle of her chest. And you gonna hear that. <laughs> you gonna hear that? Bitch, you wanna fight. Because that bitch not gonna be able to breathe. Bitch, all that bitch stamina, everything, bitch, that's gone. So after she heard of your fuck who, she got the whoop in her ass. So, you know, Krishan got the, you know, wheel on her shit and grinded pound in her shit. Dragged her all the way across to the to the next section, you know, in the room. And then, you know, security broke it up. We already know that was gonna happen. We sent it on the motherfucker train. Next, Krishan City's out. She just walking around. Let her go back to her room. Then you see Bryson like, get your liquor back. <laughs> Yeah, why do I play so much? Get your luck back! <laughs> Gee, <laughs> why did she say that so hard? Like, get your luck back! Like, girl, are you a German, like, general or something, girl? Like, are you, like, leading the fucking Nazis, bitch? Like, you slobbing and spitting. So, now get your leg back 60 times. Like, girl, she tried. She, she literally, she went and attempted to get her leg back, and she got beat up even worse than the first time. 
So the lick back option is not, it's not, it's not what's, what's up. Cause Krishan here is still intact. Her face, she got a little scratch, you know, but other than that girl, she ain't, you know, fucked up. Man, I know she got, we ain't got to talk about the may nots. You know, they may go down, they may not. I'm back to Roni and Stunna. Um, Stunna throw a drink in Roni's face or whatever. And then Stunna says, you know, she tired of the barking, like I said. And girl, my girl, a big bad Tommy. Finally get in the motherfucking picture. Now, y'all know Tommy, that's my girl. So, you know, I ain't gonna never, you know, choose her. You know, try to, like, you know, be one side of side live for Stunna. Like, Tommy has been an OG. She been, you know, on her Tommy shit. Before, you know, my love of hip hop. Some that chimp bitches up doing her big one. So, when I know this was gonna happen, it was very, like, you know, level headed playing field. Like, I knew that bitch was going to do their big one, but I just didn't know what side it was going to rock towards. Because when Rolly and Stunna fight, it was really like a little, it wasn't really even a fight for real. It was just like, you know, they were just getting consecutive hits. So it's not like, it's basically like a tie. It's like they was just both hitting each other at the same time. And now Rolly booty cheek did get split open. Now, if I was Stunna, I would take it as a W. Because, bitch, I mean, even though I didn't cut you open, bitch, you leaking. And I'm still good. So, I mean, hey, I ain't going to hold you. Yeah, Rolly had a big ass booty cheek leak. And she was just squirting everywhere and great that was just a lot to watch and zeus is so graphic like that's why i live for zeus because they just gonna they're gonna show you everything and that's exactly what they did they let really big ass in they do that little tag and that's what tommy pull her hair up and then tommy come around she you with that mop back up <laughs> you know tommy go pop through because that's how you do you gotta stick a bitch and back up that's what she did she said mm, back up and then she said mm. i mean her, her, her heads wasn't really connecting Stunning his wasn't really connected. I wouldn't really call that a fight. A lot of people was hyping Tommy up on, on social media. I love Tommy. I like I'm saying, like, I'm not choosing the sad, but I'm saying, like, I didn't even see if the first hit connected because the security guard was in the way. Then the rest of the hits, like, you can kind of see that they connected. I mean, here and there. But then when she ran back up on her again, she grabbed her hair and she just punched on her head. I mean, like, bitches could hit me in the head all the time. I don't feel that way I'm fighting. Bitches are adrenaline. So, Tommy definitely not. If we was looking at, like, from a win or lose perspective, Tommy definitely won. But if we was looking at it as, like, a fight perspective, it wasn't really a fight for real. I want to say, like, I, I want to see them, like, like, this, those hot South Central baddies girls do, like, South Central baddies, bitch, they get these hoes rounds. Like, they, a security step back and they let these girls get their rounds. Like, I don't know why baddies not letting the girls get their rounds because this is, like, that's all we came to see anyway. Like, act the fuck like it. Also, what I want to bring up, I'm glad I wrote this damn cat. You said you weren't going to let no bitch jump on Stunner, but you literally just let bitch jump on Stunner. What's your tea? Because this is what I'm saying. Because, baby, I'm going to fuck up your OG bitch. I'll stop liking you, too. I don't give a fuck. If cats start doing too much, bitch, I will stop liking her. Because, baby, this is like four years later. People change. People become different bitches. But cat don't, don't be broke. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm not going to let, you know, pop down that Philly shit. But then you let that happen right in, in your face. You didn't jump in at all like you literally just sat literally sat on the couch and watch her get jumped like don't and i and i don't have a problem with her you know not getting into the mix but don't say that oh i'm not gonna let nobody get jumped and then let somebody get jumped because that make you look like a pussy i'm sorry make you look a pussy but i mean i still live for cat because she's og so i'm gonna respect her but at the same time girl like please do not continue the same energy this um, i'm gonna be big bad whooping and then not pop on shit because you low-key scared because i don't like that at all because i'm a big bad bitch i pop shit and i back it up And that's on my nappy ass braids. Um, Lowe supposedly got her lick back. So they said it's an unair fight that we didn't get to see because I guess Zeus took it out. But that's when Lowe had that all black on and Krishan had that little tank top on. And I guess Lowe had like ran up on Krishan and did her big one, but they didn't show it on Zeus because y'all know they got to keep Krishan in the limelight. And you know, she got shows and shit out. So she got to stay the undefeated champion. But I don't like that because it's like, girl, who the fuck is her to be the undefeated champion? Like, if she got her motherfucking one up on, if somebody got a one up on her bitch, they should be able to get their motherfucking glory just like she get her glories when she be sneaking people. So it's like, I don't like that. I don't like how they like not airing stuff because that's, that's what makes me not want to watch the whole show because it's like, girl, y'all trying to pick and choose which I want to show and have my girl Low out here going bad. Like, like she a persuasion or something. When y'all know persuasion was scared for the rest of the season, she didn't get her lick back. Persuasion got beat up and she paid it. Low was like, baby, I'm gonna get my lick back, and that's what she did. And it's like the fact that we can't see the actual storyline, it's a little irritating. Zeus, y'all better release that motherfucking fight. I'm coming to y'all motherfucking aluminum palmer. I don't know how to say your motherfucking aluminum luminosity lamination. Release that motherfucking fight, bitch. I'm fight you, bitch. How about that? I'm just playing. I'll let you put me on the show. Um, oh. <laughs> They all talking about they want to get to a bed because they out here this big ass group meeting and then basically everybody hash out their differences. Stunner and um I see I see Stunner and Krishan trying to kind of become like a little power duo a little bit because you know Krishan said they they doing the same thing that they doing to her like they did to me like they trying to gang up on one girl like I'm not trying to be you know that same motherfucking person like you know bitch I'm that's why I didn't want to get on the fucking bus because that's what y'all did to me when I first got here. It's talking it down and shit. Um Stunner tell Biggie like girl I didn't have no issue with you the fact that you was trying to. 
tell me how to do something like you my mama or something just the same way um Krishna had an issue with low like y'all trying to tell these bitches like what to do and how to move bitch they grow on the tail and if they don't feel like doing that they do not have to like they don't like bitches don't have to come to sit on time if they want to i come to shit late on purpose because i'm cute i'm not going to be the best bitch dressed bitch at any place and come there early and sit around and let everybody see my outfit no i need to come like an hour almost two hours late and bitch, I need to walk in like it's a motherfucking Taj Mahal around this bitch. I don't know what the fuck the problem is, bitch. I'm not gonna be the star of shit. When I go to my bookings, bitch, I don't be the first bitch there. Bitch, I'm on a flyer. Why the fuck would I be the first bitch to walk in? So it's like, I feel Krishan and I feel motherfucking, um, stunner, bitch. She said, she said it was a time on motherfucking place. For what? What, what is the time and place to whoop somebody ass that threw a drink in my face? What does it mean time and place? Now I understand people got their time wasted, but it don't have nothing to do with me. Y'all got y'all shit. That they gonna make sure y'all get paid and they gonna make, they got enough money to go do y'all shit over there. Like they, they broke and shit or they, or they, or they out here like motherfucker hurting where they can't rebook the motherfucking thing. No. Y'all do y'all shit another time because this time I'm running down on a bitch. Period. Fuck. And then Biggie, Funky, or loppy ass, yep, that's my least favorite as of right now. I don't not like Biggie. I knew I wasn't gonna like her, but I don't like her. This bitch gonna start fucking crying. Doing this motherfucking seal squeal. Sound like a motherfucking dying wood to be. Oh, I just, I just can't, bro. Like, I just can't let like, pretty bitches fuck with me. Like, I just get like, girl, shut the fuck up. Like, girl, you sound like a fucking a genie. Like, can I get your fucking wishes? Can I, like, girl, be quiet. Like, you too, girl, not even you too big, but just yo, yo, everything is just not giving. You should have cried in that scenario. Like, it, it, it was random. Like, I'm literally like, doing something else and i i'm listening like bitch is somebody like dying in my house like what is that noise and i come to the phone this bitch, i just keep bro like i just girl you know it's not be no reason for you crying you ain't even fought her like i understand if you was fighting her over and over again and you just tired you just you broke down and exhausted like you literally did not fight her one time like, Roly was the only one popping shit, and you was the one who started the whole issue, and you was the one scared to run up. So, Roly, the one who ran down and, and said she wanted her one. You was right. You could have said, after the time, you bitch, line it up. But no, you went and disappeared, and now you want to crack because you dead. Least favorite. Bye, Biggie. I'm sorry, girl. You're not making a cut for the baddies. I don't look. I do not like Biggie. I knew I wasn't gonna like her in the beginning because she was literally just talking about people the whole fucking audition anyway. Like I don't like bitches that just like need to read. Y'all saw how Razor got on my fucking show. She literally was like, "Bitch, I'm checking these bitches. Like, bitch, that's my demeanor. I check shit. Like, I don't need to be sitting right here talking down to people, and showing y'all that I'm the baddest bitch. I am, and it is what it is, and that's why that's my favorite. So." Yeah, I mean, we're going to see what's going on on the next episode. I guess it's going to be on um, Miss Scotty with the naughty versus Razor behavior again. And from my scene with the clips, girl, I feel like Razor got her a big one the first time. No shade. And then Scotty came back and got her the second time when they was on the bus and shit. Because I remember seeing Miss Scotty hitting her and her shit um, on the security guard in the trailer. Like, over the security guard in the trailer. That's the motherfucker. I hope I enjoyed it, y'all. If y'all, let me know in the motherfucking comments who your favorite baddie is. Who is your least favorite and your most favorite baddie as of right now? My top three is definitely Razor, Krishan, and Stunna. They're my top three bitches. Roly too. I love me some Roly. Even though they into it, Roly will always be in the top. And then my least favorite, I'm gonna have to always say Scotty because Scotty's always my least favorite. I'm sorry, Scotty. I just don't like Scotty. Like, she just don't. I don't know what she's there for. Like, she not... She not a baddie for real. Like, she don't give me bad bitch energy. Like, I just, I don't understand. But Roly, I mean, um, Biggie and Scotty is not doing it for me. Like, they can actually just both go home. We need some new bitches. No shade. Follow my social media, my fans, and Instagram, my Snapchat for what is keeping up to date with me in these competitions. Um, Make sure y'all sending these good vibes and these good juju my way so I can make sure I can take these W's home. I'm trying to get more bookings, trying to get more publicity, trying to get my face out there. Bitch, I have a new single called Your coming out. Because if y'all heard that, but you bet them merch it. Y'all gonna love this new song called Girl because I made it for my gay bitches and my girls. Merch was more like unisex for like boys and girls. Like I wanted to be like a, you know, just show that I make music for everybody, not just gay people. And I am a gay rapper, but your is for the gays. Your is for the bad bitches. Your is not for the realest niggas. I mean, they gonna live for it because I be spitting bars. But I mean, I'm sorry. I have to make one for the culture because bitch, I am the culture. That's the one up with video. And singing, bitch, we out. I'm like a spider. Uh -huh.